folks with you. God can't move in a marriage where there's no humility. That's right. Oh, Amen. Can't move in a home where there's not humble. Amen. Right. Talk to you. That's why I tell Sister Ferguson, be humble. Let Brother Gary go. Nothing wrong with that, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you put that old thing in the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But we're glad for you here. We're glad for Jake being with us. Amen. And Sister Linda. And uh, these folks I stayed with on the Straight Creek. And I got to build a home over there. I thought they was visitors, and I don't think they were <laughs> But they were so good to me. And uh, we appreciate everyone every tonight. I remember where you're from. And uh, Sister Princess, I, me and her buddies, I torment her to death. Amen. Amen. She's a great woman of God. I mean, yeah, she's yeah. a great woman of God. I've got a lot of confidence in her. And her ministry, praise God. And a lot of times she comes over home. Minister, she not been over in a while. Thank God, I mean, we missed you since. <laughs> but everyone, and I'm glad for my two shotgunners up here, my bodyguards, and up on the front here. Yeah. And as I've said, I've tried to get them married all while I was over here. And if you've got two good rich with us, hey, they knows how to cook and sew. Hey, Amen. Meet me out of church there. <laughs> we have got some kind of deal. <laughs> Go with me here. That little prince will pull three of us. I really need to leave for him. Yeah, really appreciate it. I love you, son. These are my buddies. Amen. Got one already. So I want to go next to him. Praise God. But I appreciate you, Pastor. Brother Pete, let me appreciate you, folks. Amen. God's getting ready to make a move in his life. Mark the word. Amen. So that would be better than the book of Nehemiah. I thank you for the offering. Thank you for your giving and all of that. Praise God. You know, I was thinking a while ago, my wife, when Brother Gary Stark was over here preaching, she come. Yeah, she did. And when I started preaching, Brother Frankie, she didn't come. <laughs> I'm trying to wise up here. I mean, you all with me? Hey, Amen. I'll ask her that when I get home. Thanks, Sister Linda, for the glasses here. I traded mine in, Sister. You you can have them there when you get ready for you. <laughs> I just don't want to remember when I stayed with her. Amen. In the book of Nehemiah, in chapter 4, and a couple of hours preaching tonight, the Lord will help me. And I believe that you will listen. I believe the Lord, amen, will help us tonight. And I appreciate all of those that's prayed. And definitely, amen, folks that's prayed and sought the Lord. Those that's been baptized, recommitted. I mean, God bless you. Don't, don't look back. Amen. Time is too short. Jesus is coming, folks. That's right, Something's he is. Something's going down. Y'all with me here? Mm -hmm. Something's getting ready to happen. And I know, bless God, the Lord is getting ready to come. Appreciate Brother John, my buddy, even from San Diego over there. Amen. Go with me in chapter 4 and verse 1. Everybody there? Amen. Amen. <laughs> the Bible said it came to pass that when somebody heard that we built the wall, he was wroth. And took great illumination and mocked the Jews. Amen. How many knows when you start doing something for God, the devil will start lying? Come on now. And he spake before his brethren, the army of Samaria, and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of rubbishes which are burnt? Now Tobiah and Ammi was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, a fox go up, and shall even break it down, and their stone the wall. Mm -hmm. Hear, O God, for we are despised. Turn the reproach upon their head. Give them for a prey in the land of the captivity. Shall we pray, Father? We come to you in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Would you help me tonight? Amen. Would you stand with me? I stand in your all, Father. Yes. Heavenly Father, God, that you would move. That you know my heart. I'm not here, God, for any other reason but to preach your gospel. To be a blessing to these people. To be a blessing to this man of God and his wife and his family. Heavenly Father, Lord, here tonight, I'm asking, oh God, that you would return the blessings for those who's made an effort to come. God, wherever they come from, that God, that you would rain down your righteousness upon us. Yes. Heavenly Father, that you would move, that Christ would be seen, 
that he would be exalted, Father. God, I'm asking you to make it easy to preach tonight. Speak to me. Bring back, Father, things uh, to my remembrance that you have spoken unto me. Yeah. Heavenly Father, tonight, let your word of God have free course. Lord, I'm asking that Christ, God, be seen, he be here, that God, he be felt. Father, tonight we bind every Satan spirit, every demon, every devil. Yes. Heavenly Father, right now, loose or hold upon the sinner, upon the backslider, upon the child of God, upon the work of God. God, you know their hearts. You know their minds. You know, God, what they're praying about. God, I know nothing. Heavenly Father, but I know you're crucified, Jesus. Yes. Here tonight, now, in his name we pray, and everyone seen it with a big amen. 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 All right. All right. I appreciate these young men of God here. I tell you short stuff, we get ready to preach our one day. Amen. I was getting ready to say, give him the offer, amen. And they turn him and praise God. But we want to preach to you tonight, folks, listen to me. If God will help me for the next three hours, I want to talk to you. Amen. I want you to pray right there. But I want to talk to you. Amen. Nehemiah is sent back by God. He gets a burden. Ezra has returned somewhere maybe 12 years prior. Uh, the children of Israel somewhere in the naked woods there, uh, probably somewhere around 50 to 100 years, had been released to go back into uh, the promised land. Uh, that Nebuchadnezzar God used as a chastening rod, amen, to chasten his people, amen, 70 years prior. With me here, does everybody follow me? Amen. How many knows when you get out of the will of God, you can expect the chastening rod of God? Come on, go with me here. And folks, that's for somebody tonight. Walk softly, amen. And all your ways acknowledge the Lord and make sure that he's directing your can I hear somebody right. shout, come on, you see in the house here. Amen. Amen. I told you I took a school bus job one time after God called me the full-time ministry. And I want to tell you something. I never went through such hell as I went through there. Yeah. I like to lost my mind. My hair fell out. What the Lord did have. Amen. And I lay in the bed and shake. Amen. Y'all with me here? Yeah. Bless God. And I said, God, show me what's wrong. And he showed me what was wrong. Talk to me. Come on now. The Bible said in the Word of God. Amen. That, amen. That, and Nehemiah is in the king's palace in Persia. The Bible said certain of, of the brethren that had been up to Jerusalem, they come back down. And Nehemiah being the cupbearer there for the king. The scripture said he required of them. Amen. How is it up there for those that's been in captivity? How's the promised land? How is the kingdom up there? How is Jerusalem? Amen. Yeah. And the boy said, hey, Nehemiah is bad up there. With me here. Come on, saints of God. Now I want to tell you, brother, it's bad out there. Yeah. Talk to me. Come on, saints of God. Yeah. There's not much difference tonight. Amen. There than it is right here tonight. Can I hear somebody shout? Amen to God. So don't think tonight that we're the only generation that has faced darkness in a storm. Not by my thought is that if God brought them through, He can bring us through tonight. Can I hear somebody shout? Amen. My Bible said, in the Word of God, that me and I hear that. He got a heavy heart when he sang to God. And a lot of God's people, really the ones that God's got His hand upon, has got a heavy heart. They got a burden upon their heart. When we both, we try to smile. We try to laugh. I come in here, amen, I try to put a smile on. I try to lift up holy hands and rip out wrath. But oh, to be honest with you, sometimes the burden is so heavy that I turn my head and let my tears flow. Talk to me, saints of God. Amen. It's the same way with you tonight. Nehemiah sat out and prayed and fasted a certain days. And the scripture said the king to me, and you him and the queen, Nehemiah's prayer and the drink to him. And he sees the sadness of the heart there. And he talks to him. Nehemiah is afraid because he has the power. Amen. To slay him. And he told him about his father's land. Yeah. And his homeland. Let me say to God. And 
Nehemiah, amen, made a request unto the king to let him go back, amen, to Jerusalem there and look the condition over and give him, amen, permission to get the wood from the forest to build the walls back around Jerusalem. Let me say to God. And the Bible says he gives him leave, gives him an army to go with him, bless God, gives him letters, amen, to give those on the other side of the river for the force and all the things that he needs. Nehemiah goes back and he starts building the wall. He goes out one night and he begins to look over, amen, what he has to do. Hey, church, amen, let's not get in such a hurry that we can't sit down and look what we need to do. Talk to me. There's a lot of dads that need to stop and just take inventory of their family and the marriage. And come down in the church. I wish somebody just raise your hand. I'm going to preach and y'all ain't going to help me. Don't see that. Bless God. Talk to me. There's a lot of mothers that need to stop long enough. Amen. Take inventory and look and see. Man, what has the devil done in my home? What has the devil done to my children? Come on now. Amen. And say, God, let's get a plot going here. And let's bring back even what the devil has struck from us. The Bible said in the word of God. I hear you, Lord. There's a lot of preachers need to stop. And I'm one of them. And say, oh, God, let me take an inventory of the ministry of the church. And let me see, amen, what the devil has done. Don't let me say to God, sometimes we get in too big a hurry to go forward. And we need to move. Amen. But oh, we need to stop long enough to see what the devil's done. And what needs to be fixed and repaired. Needs to be done in the house of God. There's a lot of fixing needs to be done in homes and marriages. There's a lot of fixing. I'm with you all, shall I? If I was out there, I'd say, Amen, preacher. Oh, I tell you, I'm this God. Look at the word of God. The Bible said Nehemiah went out the night. He told no one what he had done in purpose in his heart. When he hear, and he saw the gates was down. He saw the parts of the walls were down. And Nehemiah knew what he had to do. He had to repair the wall in and around Jerusalem. He had to put up the gates that was in the enemies. Amen. Inside. Amen. Up to Lucy. Don't with me, folks. And not the Bible said, give no place to the devil. There's some gates need to be repaired in the churches. There's some gates need to be repaired in our lives, in our homes, in our marriages. It's letting in the devil. Don't with me here. Amen. Y'all not talking to me, folks. There's some things need to be repaired. We want signs and wonders and miracles. They cast out devils, and then we all should desire that. Let me hear, but what good would be? Bless God to give somebody heal in a home when the devil had free access to come in and get a new will. Let's repair the gates. Why mm -hmm. oh, would somebody talk to me in the building here? Oh, I raise those hands up. Man, I feel the tongue talking from the ghost. Somebody praise God. Am I doing all right? Amen. Could you give me a raise? Praise God. Bless your pastor. Hallelujah. Look here now. Let me hear the Bible said in the Word of God. Amen. They repaired the gates. Would be here? They began repairing the gates around Jerusalem. Amen. See, you don't really understand. We, as a in the Western culture, we and in any law that studied history, and a lot around castles, the first thing they do is to build the walls. Let me hear. Amen. Without walls, the enemy can move in and out. Talk to me here. Amen. Come on, without gates. Let me hear. Without doors. The enemy comes in and out. Don't let me praise God. And Nehemiah realized, man, we've got to do some repairing around here. Hey, come on now. We've got to repair some fixes. You're not with me. What good is cattle in a field without a fence? I'm talking to you here. Amen. No, God, I ain't going to say that. No, I'm going to say it. I don't know. I'm not. Bible said, try the spirits and see if they be a God or not. Yeah. If he tells me again, I'm going to fly it away. Amen. Well, I'm just going to have to fly it away. Yeah. And even there's a lot of saints of God that need to fix around them. Amen. Y'all with me here? Yeah. Ooh, you're not talking to me here. Yeah. Oh, we're like a wild donkey, bless God. Yeah. 
But with me, I was a street person. Mm. You're not talking to me, saints of God. Jesus, mm. one of the biggest lies of the devil. And that is to tell people, God can't use you. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Don't me here. God can't use you. God has no plan for you. Yes. No purpose in the kingdom of God.